Today we're going to be looking at the Draeger XL ventilator. Now the basic operation of this machine. So first off, let's talk about how does the circuit connect. For this ventilator we're going to be using a simple Y set of tubing with the uh, in-story and X-story. And of course we want to identify the in-story side is the side with the temperature probe. On the ventilator we have the two connection ports and the port as you're facing it on the left is your exhalation. However, if we look real close underneath we will see an information that says EXP and INSPORI. This will help you understand which one it is. Also when we look at the tubing we have arrows on the tubing that point out and point in. Let's take a close-up look of that. You can just barely see on the plastic here that you have the in-story arrow pointing downward. And if we move over this way you can see the arrow on this side. And there we should see just barely the word in-story and then over here the word exp, EXP. So now we're going to be connecting the in-story line to the in-story outlet and the X-story return to the ventilator. Okay. Okay, let's take a closer look now at the uh, exhalation valve. And uh, right here we have the valve itself, but behind this little door is the flow sensor. So I'm going to take that out. And on the side here is a lock, and we're going to push that this way, and that releases the valve. This is our exhalation valve. Um, if that's changed, if it's replaced, all we have to do is put it back in, make sure it clicks in, and then our flow sensor here goes right in to this little seat. Okay, so it plugs right in. Now you have to push it into the gasket here and make sure that it's seated so that there's no loss of flow. Shut that so it's hidden and you're good to go now. Let's take a look at the back side of the ventilator. Okay, we have the air oxygen inlets and then also we have here the um, Neo sensor, which uh, we are going to keep in this bag, but if you're doing neonatal, you need this sensor. It goes right up by the endo tube, uh, just at the Y of the circuit, and it plugs in to the back of the machine here. Um, power cord. Again, you want to watch for these cords that they don't get pulled out whether it's in use or not. And then we have the on off switch hidden right here behind this little switch. Let me take a closer look here. So we're going to flip it, push the on, it's going to chirp at us. And let's go around to the front side and the when we have it And it's going to take a few seconds for it to load up its memory, its uh, ventilation program. And once you get there, it's going to be in the start mode. And so we may want to go to standby, hit the uh, accept and we're going to get this alarm sounding so let's 
hit alarm reset and then accept and now it's totally in standby mode without the alarms going off and sounding and we have the adult or pediatric mode we also uh, can go in here to this uh, second tab and the second tab says ask for whether or not you want this to be non-invasive or with an endotube and then we can also go down here to uh, tube compensation automatic tube comp compensation next tab down is an active heated humidifier or an HME and these that are in the darker teal those are the active mode also we have a circuit check and we can check our circuit now at this point so I have my my uh, uh, circuit my Y I'm going to press this and it says yes which means I'm going to cover this with a gloved hand so yes and now I'm covering it and it's going to go through checking for leakage and you can see it's checking it adding extra pressures as we go through and one more leak check and once it gets to this point acceptable leak zero mls we know that we have no leaks in the system okay and we can go to the next level down which is going to tell us when we last did the uh, flow transducer as well as a leak check and we can do each of those um, I'm not going to go through but this is where you would do the entire device ventilator measures exhale exhalation valve flow sensor neoflow all of these elements um, which is a little bit longer process and we can also access the air tight or air leak check at this point here so we got everything we want now we're still in standby and in the standby mode we can now put into the ventilator our settings while we're in the standby mode we can go right down here touch any one of these parameters and it'll call up the uh, um, ventilator setting box and we can change these prior to uh, going on the patient and all we have to do is touch rotate the knob and click so if we want to uh, have different flow if we want different tidal volume and then once we have the settings we want then we're going to go back here close this out we're going to go over here to start patient and we're back to this main screen adult and we're going to click on start here we have our ventilator tubing and uh, we're going to hit the uh, start mode click on the button over here and go right on to our patient okay. now we can go into some of the other functions of the ventilator let's take a look at the screen here we can see the graphic range the graphics of the breath down on the bottom we have our set parameters and then down this center or side section we have SIMV 
rate and all of the data information. Okay. On this side here we have some little tabs. We have the main menu which is what we're in. We also have just above this main is selection. We can change this by going through the columns and we can get additional data. Okay. And here we have the data as a screen in itself. By hitting the data we can pull it up all at the same time. Special procedures is listed right here. We have the end story hold. We can touch and hold and here you can see the end story hold being held and it gives us a p-plat then. Okay. Also let's go back to the data from the p-plat and we can The special procedures, we have the X story hold. We touch and hold it. And that will give us our uh, auto peep. We have the nebulizer outlet, which is down below. And we have the O2 suction 100% in this special procedures. In story hold, another way of getting it to it is right here. And that allows us to have an in-story hold without going into it. 100% oxygen. And then intrinsic PEEP. If you've not heard intrinsic PEEP, that's the same as uh, auto PEEP. And so what we're going to do with intrinsic PEEP is we're going to set, hit the start button and then accept that and it's going to automatically measure our intrinsic peep here and tell how much volume was trapped nothing fortunately we have a test lung and so we can go on and it automatically freezes our screen so we want to go up here and touch the freeze button so that we go back to active mode okay and then we also have the X story hold right here. Now, we do have the alarms going. So let's go over to the side here. We have alarm limits. And as soon as we touch that, we get this nice box of alarms. You can see our minute volume, high and low, but in between is the actual measured 5.41. So you can visually see what the actual is and then easily enough change your high. Uh, maybe you don't want it at 9 liters. Maybe you want it only at uh, uh, 2 or 3 liters above. So let's go with 3 liters. And here we have 2.7. And that's fine. Okay. Peak airway pressure, 28. We have it at 50. That's a bit high, so let's bring that down to like 38. Tidal volume, 4.5. I mean, 0.45, so 900 is a little high. I don't like it that high. I want to bring it down to uh, something a little more reasonable. Let's go 200 over. That's a little hefty even there. Then we have our spontaneous patients not breathing. 50 is a little hefty. So let's go with breathing of uh, 24. That would be double of what our ventilator is set at. And then apnea time. I like 20 to 30 apnea. So let's bring this up to 20. All right, so now we have the alarm set. We checked some of the, the basic functions. And again, on the side, this is where you do your alarm limits. And if you wanted to get into your main ventilator settings to go down here, again, you can press this button and see how that pulls it up. Uh, 
just a different way of doing it. If you touch any one of these, it'll pop up too. And then you have your sensor, parameters, calibration, uh, monitoring, external flow compensation. And this is nice because you can have uh, flow compensation to offset your, uh, your uh, ET size. And then over here you have your system startup. Uh, system startup is nice. We have uh, a day-night feature so we can go into here. We have alarm volume. It's set at 2. We can go all the way up to 10 uh, 2016. Okay, but I'm going to just leave it at 2. And then also uh, during the daytime you like the bright screen that's fine but during the nighttime that might be a little bit not too much so then you can go to the night screen and you don't have to activate it it just changes it out makes a little bit less light that would keep the patient awake okay start up I'm gonna go back in put it back today and then uh, we can go to the screen Screen gives us the graphics, measured volumes, and all the things that you may want to change to meet your specific needs. Country, don't be messing around with this unless you like to try and read in uh, Russian. But you can set the day and time, uh, hours and minutes, so that everything is recorded correctly. And uh, you have your patient ranges, your ventilation parameters, um, and your uh, startup values for alarm limits. So you can set this here to uh, allow you to put in your information in there. It is an access coded, so you can't get people to mess around with it. Um, that's a little security interface uh, allows you to. Uh, uh, send it through the comm system as well and there's your access code all right then uh, lastly is startup standby so you've got a patient that is now going to go uh, off for some test being bagged and you just want to have it on standby you press the uh, standby mode over here and it brings up this screen and you can automatically go into standby. Remember, what we have to do up here is hit that and release it so it uh, now sits in standby without alarming. That's the uh, quickie overview of the Avita XL uh, ventilator, and I hope this has helped you.